Up until now, my solar panels have just been sitting right up against the shack here, and in the summertime, all these trees have a lot of foliage, and it blocks all the sun. So they don't get, like, any sun at all, all day. So that's why I really gotta move the solar panels out into the field more. I plan on putting the solar panels right about here. This is about 100 feet away from the shack. I got this 100 foot extension cord that I'm gonna use to connect to the inverter and then run over to the shack. So this is the inverter and the battery that I'm gonna be using with the solar panels. I got my 12 volt, 200 amp hour battery. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. And it was the cheapest one I could find on Amazon at the time. It's the inverter's job to turn the 12 volts from the battery into 120 volts, like how you have in your house. This being a pure sine wave inverter is very important too. Because I'm going to be running all of my electrical appliances and my computer and such, I want nice clean power. I'm making the structural frame for the array out of 2x4s because it's the cheapest possible building material I could think of. The 2x4s aren't even treated either, but I don't expect to keep this for a million years. By the time this were to fail, I would probably use the solar panels on something else or build something better. It would actually be a lot better if it was further out in the field, but after about 100 feet with 120 volts, Unless you're using super thick, expensive wire, you would run into voltage drop problems. So you'd start having a lot of losses by the time the power actually gets to you. I want the angle of the solar panels to be adjustable here, so that they could be steeper in the winter, shallower in the summer. And to do that, I just made the simple little pivoting mechanism using a screw going through the back legs. So the screw acts as a joint, and I can easily change the angle just by changing the back legs positioning. That's pretty steady. All right. Throw some panels on there. This array is going to have eight panels with 100 watts each, and I'm sure you're smart enough to do the math. I didn't get any footage of wiring it up, so I can't help you there, but there's lots of good tutorials on YouTube for that. Because I'm putting the battery and the inverter outside with the solar panels, I need to protect those, so I'm making them a little safety box. This box will also be big enough to hold a few layers of insulation. A little quirk of the lithium iron phosphate batteries is that if you try and charge them below 32 degrees, you cause dendrites and you can break your battery. So to keep it from freezing, I put a seedling mat in the bottom of the box and added insulation, plus the inverter should add heat, so I think the battery will be okay outside. Damn, I thought I had more room than this uh, when I first measured. All right, here's the finished array. I'd like to replace these two solar panels because they don't match, and if you don't match solar panels, that's not great. Uh, you can create some bottlenecks in your system, but for now I thought it would be good to incorporate them into the array anyways, um, until I replace those two with the same as the rest. The new solar panels are working great. Uh, I only have 800 watts, which really isn't that much solar. I'll probably be adding more to the solar array later on. But that's all I got for you guys right now. Uh, see you guys next time. I think up next is going to be the shower. Do drugs, drive fast, leave the matrix. Bye.